हेलो गाइस कैसे हो आप सब मैं हूं आपका दोस्त शशांक एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द प्लेसमेंट सीरीज अगर वीडियो पसंद आए तो लाइक करो शेयर करो और सब्सक्राइब तो कर ही दो चलो मिलते हैं वीडियो में हेलो शशांक हाउ आर यू आई एम गुड तो मैं अपने व्यूअर्स को बताना चाहूंगा रोहित हैड डन इंटर्नशिप एट जेपीएमसी एंड ही रिसीव्ड डी प्लेसमेंट ऑफर फॉर हिज वर्क सो थैंक यू रोहन फॉर जॉइनिंग अस टुडे एंड टेकिंग आउट टाइम फॉर द सेशन वेलकम रोहन सो माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रोहन कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट योर एकेडमिक बैकग्राउंड टू द व्यूअर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू शशांक फॉर कॉलिंग मी फॉर योर इंटरव्यू सो हेलो एवरीवन सो I am Rohan Agarwal. I am currently pursuing B.Tech from Mechanical Engineering at IIT BHU. And although it seems like I am from a mechanical engineering background, although I am not because I shifted on from mechanical to computer science, and currently I am working. I I have an inclination towards computer science. Um, this journey, shifting from mechanical to computer science, started on. I think in the first year itself, in the first year, when the institute provided us a lot of opportunities in the through workshops or through projects or through competitions in the non-core department that is programming or any other sector in the computer science engineering, I just participated. I got involved in things like workshops and all, and certainly be, be, became a part of the computer science. and now i am going on with the with this particular line and recently i have been interning at jp morgan at jp morgan we as a my profile was as a software engineer engineering intern and day to day responsibilities included working there programming and using my skills of data structures and algorithms to write clean and reusable code and make good software applications okay okay rohan that was wonderful so now we would like to ask you about the recruitment process that happens yeah. with jpnc so i will proceed with the stages of the recruitment process so first stage was an online test so online test included two questions and one hour was allotted for it so on the basis of difficulty on a scale of 10 i will give it give 4 out of 10 to the first question and 6 out of 10 to the second question so questions were relatively easy because uh, for a second for a if i consider a student for who has just been passed out from his second year i would consider the him for Four out of ten and six out of ten. So for a fourth year, those questions might be easier. So next stage was of was for the uh, interview process. The interview process comprised of three particular interviews. So first two was technical. The third was HR. Time wise, the first interview was of thirty minutes. Second interview was forty five minutes, and the third interview was fifteen minutes altogether. Okay, so I would like to know more about the test. What type of questions were asked? What difficulty level, as you mentioned? Yeah. So could you could you remember like what kind of questions were asked generally? JPM. See, first question I was a little easy. I could not remember, but the second question was building the solution for a Sudoku problem. The Sudoku, the common problem we have, we have it in our newspaper. So we have to program it in a uh, program it. program a code that could automatically solve the sudoku problem and can also say if the problem can be solved or not so that was the uh, problem number 2 okay so moving on to the interview round so how was your experience with the interviews yeah so interview experience was uh, was a great experience actually so it comprised all together of three steps first step included technical round so i will just uh, tell about why my first round first round first question was tell me about your project so 
I already had a real good uh, paragraph prepared by me previously. So I went to, together with it. I first mentioned the aim of the project, the purpose of the project. Next step, I told them what is the concept behind the pro- the solution. Then I told them the architecture behind the problem, behind the solution of the problem. And then I mentioned the contributions I made into the project because it was a team project. And also I mentioned the results it made. So altogether it was a project on computer vision. And I think the interviewer was not very, um, I mean, they were not of the, this particular background of machine learning. So they didn't ask me any further question, but they, because I had a good explanation for this, so I was just complimented with, yeah, it sounds good. That was the compliment they gave. So next step after the project project explanation was done, I was present. I was asked two particular questions from data structures and algorithm. And again, considering a student who has just passed his second year, I will I would consider them as a difficulty of four out of ten and five out of ten. Although they were not difficult, but the main purpose is to handle your pressure pressure during the interviews. Although the questions might seem easy, but getting to to the solution in the interview itself, the questions which you have never ever seen before is a challenging task. So here, not the technical skills, but your pressure handling skills will be more important. So this was all together my first round of interview. Yeah, it was a good interview. Everything went well and uh, I could answer both the questions and I was uh, given an opportunity in the next round. So round two. Round two included, uh, he was someone who was senior, who was a very senior leader from the uh, techno- technological aspect of the JP Morgan. He asked me one of the tough questions. I feel it as a tough question. Uh, he actually told me to build a build a stack using a uh, using a array array data structure. So completely changing a data structure that is given into a different form of data structure. So I initially I didn't have any clue about it, not at all. But as I said, pressure is the most important competitor. So I handled my nerves well, I handled the pressure, I relaxed myself and thought about it. Although I didn't know, didn't have a clue, I just formulated it step by step. I told him what I'm thinking. I just continued with the process and I eventually got with a solution. I presented my solution first and then I proceeded with the code. And writing the code was not, I think, not very difficult for me. I wrote the code, I think in five or six minutes itself, and it was working. I tested it. It was working and interviewer was happy. He was happy with my solution. So altogether, the technical part of this particular interview was very well done. But now comes the next part. He shifted on from technical to a HR type of round. Now he asked me questions such as, the, it was at the starting of the COVID pandemic at that time. He asked me, how has the world impacted due to the COVID-19 pandemic? So these questions are some some of the questions which we don't have a preparation prior. So I just thought about it. I At that time, there was uh, 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 things were not going well. Everything was closed and international relations were, were getting impacted. So I told him about the international re- relations, the effect over the trade and everything. I just told him what the ideas I had and it went well. The next question he presented me was, how did you tell me one of the incident where you failed? It was one of the question. So initially I asked him, can I answer it in a in a way uh, where i can include my technical career but he strictly asked me not to include any type of technical things into this question and stay away from it 
so now i thought i thought for a few seconds and then i came up with my sports background i had a good sports background in my institute so i begin with i just recalled one of the incident uh, it was a badminton tournament and in the first round itself i got failed badly failed i could not i think i lost very badly so i told him about that incident that particular incident and he was satisfied with the answer and the next immediate question he asked me was how did you come up with, how did you get over this particular failure so that question was the next question so again i i thought about it and i told him that yes in another badminton competition that was right after one one or two months from that particular competition i used my previous because the last time i lost was due to pressure and this time i handled my pressure well i could play well and use my brain to, to put the shuttle in particular places and eventually i succeeded in that particular match and i won it so that that is how i come up, came up with the solution uh, came up from that particular failure and he was happy the interviewer was uh, very happy he told me any further questions i i didn't ask him that particular time and he said okay yes so i got very very confident after this particular interview and i was sure i was sure that i am going to be get, getting selected for the third round so i came up came to the third round third round was late night 10 o'clock i think and in that particular round the hr was there hr questions were asked to me questions were like why jp morgan so for this type of question you need to have a little bit of knowledge of jp morgan so again similar questions were asked like uh, why why do you want to join Uh, what do you know about jp morgan and those kind of stuff now next thing that he asked me was do you have any questions so i asked him that if i join if i get an opportunity to join jp morgan do i have a liberty to select the projects i mean if i could get a opportunity so he told me that jp morgan is very very open it generally ask you first what are your skills are what you want and everything that was eventually done also before my internship actually started and yeah i got one of my one of the project that was relevant to my skills and relevant to my career that that has been there and yeah things went well okay so, so that is well, rohan hmm. yeah So thank you now can can you share some uh, insights from your internship experience at tp morgan yeah see uh, my tenure at jp morgan was of 2 months so the seniors over there will not be expecting you to build a great or a big application all together in in 2 months so first of all they will be giving you a what we call space they will be giving you space to learn you can learn whatever you want but it will be good if you learn the specific things what they have to they will give you the resources they will not sit and teach you they will give you the resources there all together they will give you some courses that you can do now once you do the courses you get enough knowledge about those particular technology they will give you particular issues they will raise some issues for you those issues Uh, which are already there in the application so you need to solve them solve those particular bugs they can be anything bugs or a new application a uh, new api new feature anything it can be you have to make it so these the first first month i think it all went with learning and the next month i contributed i contributed good amount of code and yeah things went well there were several and uh, now apart from this contribution type of things i would like to mention that lot of courses were given to us lot of uh, lot of senior leader interactions were given to us that was really really useful how people grow at jp morgan or any other company there were people from google who used to come who have shifted their career to jp morgan and then they are 
they are doing work over here we had interactions with them also so those were very fruitful interactions so yeah that was good now and at the end of two months yeah things were good and uh, um, after they acknowledged my contribution they eventually offered me a full time opportunity over there and i have accepted that and i am going to join it next next year you are very well ruman congratulations for yeah. the future at jp thank Northern. you thank you so Hope much you will do good so my next question is to you how did mm-hmm. you prepare for jp morgan like tests and interviews yeah see um when we prepare we start our preparation in the second year or at the mid of the second year right we don't start our preparation that this is my aim this is the company i want so i will be studying particular to that it is not like that for most of the companies logical skills data structures and algorithms are the most important things they want so my focus also was data structure and algorithms that was my highest priority and a project i had previously done i started with machine learning in my first year itself so i had done a project decent project i can call it decent in computer vision in my second year so project was already done now data structure and algorithms i built my skills over there that i programmed i think i solved more than 800 questions that particular interval of 6 months on code forces and i got a rating above expert so things went well for my data structure skills and i think data structure skills was the uh, main thing in that per- online test if you have good data structure and algorithm skills eventually you are going to solve any particular question that are presented to you in the internship program yeah next yeah so no specific preparation for jp morgan but before the online test i think maybe two or three days you have that time right so in that particular day uh, i just communicated with my seniors who have given the test or they already have been selected for that so i asked them what kind of questions are going to be asked and those particular things eventually i got a good amount of knowledge from them and i could solve both the question now once i cleared the online test and my name was there in the shortlist i again contacted them i asked them what kind of questions the interviewer asked the interviewer uh, generally companies have a different kind of environment i mean different kind of focus some companies might focus more on the technical stuff some companies might focus on data structures algorithm some company might focus on dev skills some company more on your communication skills so those type of things that were already told to me so it was told that it is not one particular thing everything is going to matter in for jp morgan your technical skills are going to matter your project is going to matter your communication communication is going to matter a lot so good communication is required for that and yeah these things were very very necessary uh, and i had them i already developed them through my this preparation uh, preparation months and just these things were relevant to jp morgan and otherwise the preparation was for all not particular to any particular company okay, okay. so that's great uh, one so at last i want to ask so what advice you have for the beginners who are just started yeah. or aiming to start a coding career and looking for jp pmc okay so yeah first i will tell the general things not particular to jpmc general things include b if you are starting a career in the coding or in programming right you need to have good base uh, good base is very very important and base means even you don't need to learn too many of the languages even if you learn one language one language is enough you should be good at that that is more important you should be whatever you think anything you think you should be able to implement it in that particular language you know that matters it doesn't matter that you know python you know c++ you know golang nothing really matters it matters that you whatever you think are you able to implement it in a particular language 
that matters now another thing is data structures and algorithms you should be good at data structures and algorithms read from anywhere you want you can read it from geeks for geeks you can go for youtube channels you can also go for coursera courses or udemy courses but the base is very very important the base is data structures and algorithms you have to do it now next thing the third thing i would like to mention is pressure all together when i when i was explaining my interview experience i i was a uh, tell me more about the pressure handling i did actually it doesn't seem like when we are preparing but when we go to interview we have that sense what if i fail we have those nerves so controlling those nerves is one of the most important things sometimes you might see one of the student who is not very good at programming but still getting selected for that particular company and you being a very good programmer not being not getting selected for that particular company so here you should understand that it might be the case that the other person had the good handling of his nerves he handled his nerves well and that is why he got selected so handling the nerves well is very very important in any interview okay so these were the things that were very general general to everyone now for jpmc jpmc as i mentioned few of the things are very important your technical skills although you don't need to be a master at it you have to have decent programming skills that is data structures and algorithms again communication skills i think this is also important for every company they will see you how you communicate okay in when when you go to the company you will not be doing everything by your own you will having a you will be having a team you will be having guidance but you need to know how to take that guidance take the advantage of that guidance and for that you need to have a particular have a good communication skills so communication skills become very important for a company's perspective so you need to have good communication skills okay that is it for this question thank you rohan so that that's the end of the session so thank you for joining and whatever points you mentioned would be really beneficial for the seniors or those who are looking for the placement or internship at jpmc so thank you rohan once again for joining us and yeah thank you so time. much for calling me thank you viewers thank you rohan take care thank you